On this edition of What's New at DXE, a new receiver from ICOM, new tuners from Matt, new Hi-Z controllers, and more. Stick around. Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. Today we're taking a look at more new products that have recently arrived at DX Engineering, so let's get started. Up first is the new ICOM R15 handheld wideband receiver. This rig covers from 88 to 500 megahertz and will receive AM, FM, and FM wide. Features include SD card storage, a USB Type-C connector, 13 selectable tuning steps, and more. It comes with a flexible antenna, lithium-ion battery pack, belt clip, USB-C cable, and a hand strap. Next, Matt Tuner has a newly upgraded version of the 1500 tuner called the 1500 Pro. This is a legal limit automatic tuner that covers 160 to 6 meters, can handle 1500 watts on sideband and CW, as well as 800 watts on digital. The 1500 Pro also features 16,000 tuning memories, two antenna inputs, and a tuning range from 6 to 1,000 ohms. A unique feature of this tuner is that it can loop through the PTT line, making it possible to interrupt an attached amplifier during the tuning process. There are also optional rig control cables for many Kenwood, ICOM, and Yaesu rigs. Matt Tuner has three new remote tuners that will work with many Kenwood, ICOM, and Yaesu radios. These are wide range remote antenna tuners that can be used with many antennas, including long wires or random wires, and can also be used with almost any coax fed antenna. The tuner consists of two units, the coupler and the tuner unit, and includes a power cable, rig control cable, and the necessary hardware for mounting the tuner unit outdoors. Frequency coverage is from 160 through 6 meters, and it will handle 120 watts on sideband and 60 watts on digital. The tuner features 16,000 memories and will tune in approximately 5 seconds for a full tune and a tenth of a second for a memory tune. DX Engineering is now offering pre-made Times Microwave LMR400 Ultraflex cables in 3, 6, 9, 25, 50, 75, and 100 foot versions. Each of these cables are terminated using our patented silver plated next generation PL259 crimp solder connectors. Inova Antennas has a 6 meter 4 element loop fed array antenna. It has an 11.15 foot or 3.4 meter boom, 1.77 square feet of wind load, and can handle up to 5 kW. It has a 2 to 1 SWR bandwidth of over 600 kHz, 4 gain of 9.4 dBi, and 32 dB front to back ratio. This antenna will mount on mass up to 2 inches. Remember, Loop-fed antennas are quieter than conventional Yagis, which makes them great for anyone who lives in a noisy environment. The BHI NCHW headphones can be used as wired or wireless, are noise-canceling, and can attenuate outside noise from 18 to 25 dB. The built-in Bluetooth 5.0 wireless will allow you to pair your phone, computer, or tablet at a distance of up to 32 feet or 10 meters. These over-the-ear headphones have an adjustable headband, and offer up to 10 hours of listening on a single charge. There are also controls for power, noise canceling, and phone calls. The NCHW headphones come with a USB charging cable and a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. DX Engineering acquired Hi-Z antennas in 2022. Since that time, new control consoles and controllers have been in development. These consoles and future controllers replace the legacy units which were discontinued due to parts no longer being available. The MDC-4 console is designed to work with the Hi-Z antenna's PC-4A four-square phasing controller. It replaces the legacy Hi-Z antenna's shack switch SS-4-4 and is compatible with earlier versions of the Hi-Z four element receiver arrays. The MDC-8 is designed to work with the Hi-Z eight-circle monoband receiver array phasing controller, the PC-8, PC-8A or PC-8B monoband series. It also replaces the legacy Hi-Z antenna shack switch, the SS-8 element. It can also be substituted for the legacy shack switch 2 and 2 plus. The MDC-8 Pro is designed to work with the Hi-Z antenna's 8-circle multiband receiver array phasing controller, the PC-8 Pro. 
It also replaces the legacy high z antennas SS4-8 Pro and the Shack Switch 2. The MDC-6 is coming soon and is designed to work with the PC-3A phasing controller. It also replaces the legacy high z antenna Shack Switch, the SS3 element, along with the SS2, the SS2 Plus, and is only compatible with the high z triangular receiver arrays. DXC currently has a limited number of legacy high z controllers available. New controllers will be available late 2024 or early 2025. To go along with these controllers, DX Engineering has replaced the high z active antennas with the AVA3. The AVA3 can be configured to work with elements from 6 to 24 feet and will work perfectly with the high z controllers and combiners. At the time of this recording, all the items in this video are currently in stock except the high z MDC6. And that wraps up this edition for what's new at DXE. Links for all of these items will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.